What's up, guys? We are Radio DJs React. I am Tyler. This is Mo. Greetings. Glorious Sons. Uh, really like this band. I uh, like Glorious uh, Sons, too. I mean, uh, Sawed Off Shotgun was a real good one, even though they cut it off radio because of, like they were like, oh, it's about suicide. Or uh, I yeah. think there was like school shootings, and then they took... That was one of the victims of... Like anytime there was gun violence in the news or anything crazy, they took mm-hmm. that song off. Oh, but they had, yeah, I didn't even think about it at the time. Like but that. they, they. I do remember us not. Yeah. I do. I do remember us stopping like playing it. It's though. such a good song, though. Yeah, it is. Such I really song. love that song. They, they're they're. Uh, gosh, I can't remember which record it was. Glorious Sons is one of those bands where I got to be real. I don't know their you know full catalog, but the couple of songs I do know, I liked. Man, it was like one of those things. Uh, Heavy's really good. Everything goes all right. Panic Attack. Mama, hold steady. Kill the lights. Closer to the sky. All those songs are really good. I uh, had a, their like the Spotify will do a playlist of every single song they've ever made. Mm-hmm. I clicked on it one day and just let it play. It. I was like cleaning the house. I was like, damn, that's another good song. Damn, damn that's another good. song. I need to do that. I yeah. have Spotify now. I didn't even tell you that. I what? have Spotify now. Oh yes. Oh my god, dude. It, I, d- now I, I can send you links. Yes. <laughs> I don't pay for it though. Somebody, I, I, I got added to somebody else's account. <laughs> About time. I'm glad somebody. Uh, I finally have Spotify. All right. Let's get into this one. This is uh, called Mercy, Mercy. I'm assuming it, it. Yeah, it's off a forthcoming album called Glory out this fall. All right. Uh, I'm so, looking forward to this. All right. So let's get into this. That's about how I envisioned they looked. <laughs> is that a It's a re- freaking recliner Yeah it's a recliner Inside the back of a pickup Did you hear that line? I didn't hear that. I was never as mad as I thought I was. I had to work so hard to hold that grudge. Mm. Damn, that's a good line, man. Yeah, I'm not the same. I'm not Mm. insane. I'm not a hateful thing. Now in the acid rain, I was never as mad as I thought I was. I had had to to work work so so hard hard to hold that grudge. Dude, that's a a deep ass line right there. I know Mm. most people probably don't process something like that but if you really think about it i mean you know that that's one of the things i had to learn because i was a, a big grudge holder for a really long time yeah and then i had to learn that i'm doing nothing but hindering myself right. if i allow these things that have bothered me to continue to linger yeah gotta let it go absolutely I'm not and then then i realized maybe i wasn't even as mad as i thought i was originally yeah then you like calm down emotionally from it yeah. and you start thinking about it rationally you're like wait this doesn't even make sense yeah why am i, why am I even wasting energy damn here? that was a good line yeah that was that is really good i'm glad you caught that now in the acid rain i was never as mad as i thought i was i had to work so hard to hold that How much do you want to bet he's not wearing shoes? Oh, he's definitely not. I already saw his toe. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I want to go back to that chorus real quick. I want to, I want to see what he's saying. Yeah, I couldn't tell. what he, I, I ran, ran my, my four horses to their last breath. I, I mean, to their death. I heard that. I watched. Yeah. I ran my four horses to their death. I watched them take their last breath. Mercy, mercy. I'm sick of my, my war. war. Won't do me like you've done before. Okay. Um. Mm. I'm not a hundred. Um, well, it's obviously about <laughs> grudge holding. Yeah, and and he's, you know, okay. So, do you think it could partially be about patience? Because if if you think about when when people are telling you to have patience, they tell you to hold your horses. Oh yeah. I, but I'm just one. I don't know. What's the what's the significance of I, four of them? Yeah, that's know. what I was about to say. Uh, yeah. Maybe he's a wrestling fan. He's thinking about the four horsemen. I, I, I don't know. Damn. 
Uh, <laughs> I watched this. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm like going through the lyrics here, even reading ahead. I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, I guess he's just using this whole uh, this. He's running his horses to their death. He's watching them take their last breath. So it's like he he didn't want to kill them, but he because he was holding the grudge for so long. Yeah, it might mm-hmm. be the you know, and he's sick. He's sick of my. He's sick of the war. Whatever war, maybe it's an internal war yeah. that he's fighting with himself and his and his emotions or his feelings about something. But you ever been in like a situation <clears throat> where you know it's going to be disastrous, and like as it's happening to you, you're just like. I just might as well just keep on letting it hurt, you know, or yeah. whatever. Like, yeah. just just keep on. I kind of knew this was coming. Yeah. Let's just let it flow. Like, Let's... you're just standing in the rain cloud, and you don't want to walk out of it, like, when there's, like, a roof right next to you. Like, no, I deserve this. Mm. You know, it's kind of like the same same uh, phrase, almost, as, like, there goes my four horses. Oh, that's, I'm, I'm going to watch them die instead of rescuing them, mm. you know, doing something about it. Mm. I'm going to sit here and wallow yeah i mean mercy mercy that's uh, that's a saying that has been around the south for forever you know mercy Mm -hmm. is just one of those things that you if you lived in the south you've heard people say that in all kinds of different Mm -hmm. uh contexts so i mean yeah i I, it definitely has some emotion behind it but it's still really catchy too yeah yeah i like the lyrics a lot this is a this is a deeper song That. Yeah, that was good. I really enjoyed it. I think his um, his voice sounded really natural. <laughs> his you know, voice, his voice is so good. He has a good voice on in Spotify. Mm-hmm. You're going to see that they have live albums. Oh, really? Yeah, you're going to okay. see specifically Glorious Sons. Uh, listen to those live albums. Mm-hmm. He sounds exactly the same. I okay. mean, he's so good. Like he's got a great range. Um, but yeah, I would definitely definitely just click on like right under the artist you'll see all the top songs but if you sk- keep scrolling down it says this is glorious sons mm-hmm. and don't do the radio do the this is glorious sons and they'll play every single song oh and, shit and, okay and yeah it's it's it, they're i mean they've got quite the collection quite frankly i see I, they only I, have sixty four thousand subscribers they're pretty damn underrated to be honest no i was about to say now that i think about it i mean i only know like two of their songs i really like those two songs yeah but i i, I have not i can't think of a time where i went looking for more of their stuff right. even though i liked what i heard so yeah. now i'm gonna yeah i'm definitely gonna need to do that so you do so what we do uh if this is your first time checking us out we uh listen to the song watch the video and then we'll give it a score some to, w- somewhere between one to ten mm-hmm. um on based on you know what we thought about that song and then in the comments later guys you guys can agree with us disagree with us whatever the case may be give us an explanation maybe sometimes we'll ask you guys to clear something up for us that we couldn't understand mm-hmm. uh but do you have your score already yeah Okay. Six eight. 
Six eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go six point. Slightly above average. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. Uh, I think it's a good song. Uh, and while I was listening to it, you know, I like the lyrics a lot. I like his voice. But I'm like thinking, I'm like, this is gonna be one of those songs where I'm gonna have to listen to it a couple more times, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna really like it a lot more than I do now. But first listen, I've got to be honest. Like with my first listen, it's pretty good. I, I, I mean, they have quite the collection. Like I've already mentioned several times, they have quite the, a lot of good songs. So I mean, you, you really can't go too high. And, and some of those songs are in the sevens and eights and nines. I mean, mm-hmm. they've got "Sawed Off Shotguns" is almost a ten. Yeah, you know "Sawed Off I mean? Shotgun" is very it's a really, very up there, really good song. Um, so it's it's uh, I don't know, and, and plus. This is coming out. This is their first single off their new record. That's coming out probably in a couple of months. Mm-hmm. There's probably going to be better songs. I'm yeah. assuming. So um, you don't want to you don't want to set the standard too high because yeah. then you're going to have to go even higher for other ones. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I've made that mistake before, but it was a good song. I mean, I'd, I'm still going to listen to it regardless. I I, just, I still think it's a good song. I just don't think it's one of their top ten songs, like mm-hmm. best songs. But yeah. So I'll go with that score. Seven, eight, you said. Yeah. I mean, six, eight. Six, yeah, Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I, like I said, that one line, uh, which he said it multiple times, but it really caught me because as a person who used to yeah. hold grudges a lot and still do sometimes to a certain extent, a even though I don't let them bother me as much, yeah. I, w- I may make petty decisions because of a grudge I'm holding, even though I don't let it affect me on a daily. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance... Um, we've talked about, you know, there was a person that I tried to date, blah, 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 oh, whatever. Yeah. Right? You you know that whole story. We did a whole radio so, bit about it, yeah, too, Yeah, we did. God. We even had her on the radio. I hated that for you, man. Um, but so going forward, like, in, I was like, okay, well, whoever I do decide to be with yeah. is going to have to be shitting on her. You uh, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. she's going to have to be super dope. You still see her? Uh, every now and again, okay. every now and again, um, and and again, that's just one of those tiny grudges. We're still friends. Yeah, we're we get along perfectly fine. Yeah, but it's like just one of those. It's one of those small grudges that I still hold on. I feel on like to. she played you so hard, though. Yeah, she did, but yeah. it's all good. Anyway, yeah. uh, I really enjoyed this song. I like the videos. It's really, it really gave like a really down home feel and felt being like from it was in South. Kentucky or some shit. Yeah, 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 it did. It it really I wonder, did. I wonder where they're from. Being in being from Tennessee, you know that that little down home kind of. Uh, they're from Canada. Yeah, dude. I saw the nine hundred five area code on that uh, dumpster. Let's see where that's at. So where they shot that video. So that's in Ontario. Wow, it looked like Kentucky, dude. Maybe they're from southern Canada. Hey. <laughs> well, they don't go A. Hey. They don't go A, hey. they go A. Hey. <laughs> hey, oh, A. Hey. <laughs> oh, I wonder God, if they that's say funny. y'all there. They they might say yeah. All right, what's your score? Anyway, um, yeah. So I really enjoy the video. Really enjoy the song. Uh, I'm, you're right. I don't want to go too high because I'm looking forward to hearing yeah. some of. And now that we have this channel, that means I have a reason to listen for more of their stuff when Dude, it comes out. You got to listen to all of their other songs. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm definitely going to. So I'm going to go um, just slightly over you. I'm going seven four. Seven four. Seven, four. Yeah, seven point four. Okay. And it was you know it was it was good. Um, but I, I feel like they're probably probably do have better I, we i know they have better with sos yeah and you know um i forgot the other one that I, i'm familiar with but i bet you there's going to be some others that come to this new album that are going to be really good yeah, it so. was like radio like cut that uh salt of shotgun off uh i think they went into panic attack was one um man i think one of my favorite songs mm-hmm. is um oh gosh what is it called um I need to rest my uh, poor heart. There it is, poor heart. I love that song. Mm. Uh, the live version of that song, he mm-hmm. gives an explanation of where and how he wrote that song. It's so beautiful. Damn, um, I need to listen more of their stuff. Yeah, dude, they, they've got some really good stuff. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. There's some songs that are uh, are skippable, mm-hmm. uh, but <laughs> the, 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 there's a lot of them. For such a young band, that I think they only got three or four records, maybe even less than that. Um, they're really good. They're really underrated. Like I can't believe they're freaking from Canada. I thought they were from Kentucky because they sound southern. They do sound southern. I you mean, know what I mean? One of the categories that popped up when you when you hit the Wikipedia was or whatever website you just hit yeah. was Southern Rock, and it comes off yeah. very Southern Rockish. Yeah, I would put Blackstone Cherry and these guys in like kind of mm. like the same breath. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that's interesting. I feel you though on the yeah. on the being underrated thing. That's how I feel about Dirty Honey. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. dude, a- are, are people not realizing how dope this band is? Yeah, 
there's a there's a lot of good rock bands that no one's ever heard of, but yeah, I mean, but yeah, they're from Kingston, Canada. How hmm. crazy! It looks like well, I mean, they they might be big in Canada. They've got an award for rock album of the year in Canada, Juno Award. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's Canadian. The Juno Awards. I've heard of those. Those are those are one that's of the bigger good. awards in Canada, I believe. Is it Canada? I've heard of Juno uh, the Juno Awards before. Our Lady Peace is one that's some 41. Yeah, so it's got to be Canada. Yep. Rock albums in Canada. I'm sure uh, Nickel Crack is on here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> dude, I've been listening to Nickelback lately. Yeah, there's Nickelback right there. <laughs> I, I've been listening to Nickelback lately, Finger dude. Finger 11. Bro, they, they've made so many good songs. They have. I don't understand why so many people hate them. Yeah, they won in uh, 18 and 20. Okay. Yeah, War on Everything is a really good uh, one. The Young Beauties and Fools is a good one, too. I'm going to go back and listen to some yeah. of their stuff. Uh, what All did right, you guys, guys think? We appreciate you. Yes, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Got some clarity on some stuff that you maybe know about the band that I he seemed, he's got a lot more knowledge on him than I do. But uh, and yeah, also, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back because we're going to have more content coming for you very soon. Thanks for watching.